Does Mixbook do any upselling when the user goes to pay for their finished product? How do you balance the need to sell more with the engaged user while keeping the environment welcome and easy to check out? Ah, uh, well, I happen to be very opinionated on this topic. I am very against aggressive upselling. Um, companies like GoDaddy, uh, GoDaddy in my view is kind of the king of upsells. They'll upsell you like five different screens before you check out and they can get away with it because they're known to be the low cost provider and if you go into the lowest cost place, you don't expect it to be the nicest environment, okay? Like that's, that's just the deal. Nothing against GoDaddy, that just is what it is. Um, depending on what you're building, maybe that's the right thing. Um, and some companies do upsell very smoothly. I actually think Amazon is a company that does upsell really, really well, and they get me all the time. Uh, once you're a Prime member, man, you're gonna buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. That's just reality. They're really good at this stuff. So I think upselling is good, but the new user flow is so, so critical. Once someone buys once, you have a much higher probability of buying them again. Uh, well, I mean, I hope. Hopefully, like, your conversion of repeat buyers is higher than your conversion of new. Uh, if not, then you have a different problem that you should talk about. Um, I am a fan. If you ever use our Mosaic app, you will see I'm a fan of minimizing the steps it takes to buy. Once a user has communicated they want to buy something, you minimize it. You don't make them think about anything. Ideally, right? I mean, ideally, they just press a button, buy. And in fact, you, uh, if you use our Mosaic app, uh, you may see we've got a partnership with Facebook um, where you can actually, with two taps, check out. You don't have to enter your name, your address, your email, your billing information, your credit card, none. You don't do any of it. You literally press a blue button that says autofill my Facebook payment information, and then you press OK and your order's placed. It's that easy. That is the future of payments, by the way. The future of checkout is no checkout. <laughs> the future of payment is you don't think about it. You just press the button and it's done. Um, which, you know, if you, if you imagine what credit cards did to buying products when you didn't have to sit there with your wallet and count out dollar bills and count out coins, it's a lot easier to swipe a credit card. Um, it's the next level of reducing friction and I think it's gonna be dramatic. The effect is gonna be dramatic and it's going to really hurt the ability to do upsells like what um, companies like GoDaddy do because people will be experienced, uh, be, be ex expecting fast and smooth checkout. Uh, that, that said, you can still do upsells in the cart. So um, I think the flip side is once users have already bought, it's a really good opportunity to show them products that they might want. But I think where it, where it, gets, where it gets bad is you up offer products that are upsell that only appeal to a very small number of users. Now you've made your user think, which has an inherent friction. Every step that the user has to think, more will drop off. Um, let's say the normal drop off for a given step. So kind of traditional rules and conversion rate optimization is for every step that a user has to go through, 30% drop off. Um, if they have to think, it's more, probably 50% drop off. So you know, hopefully that upsell has a lot of uptake to make up for that big drop. 